Okay, we'll move on to outside CAS. Um, this is essentially the area um, we've dealt separately with the economic development area at a different workshop, so I'm not talking about that here, we've, although people are welcome to raise it. So we're really talking about St John's Wood, Maida Vale, uh, Bayswater, Queensway and Belgravia areas. So it's really everything that falls outside of a specific designation. Uh, what we're asking is... Do you consider that we should maintain our existing UDP approach to offices outside the central activity zone and only allow small extensions to lawful office premises providing the accommodation is for office-based local services and or improving access for those with disabilities? So if you wanted to uh, provide extensions to offices outside of the CARES and outside of the economic development area, you'd have to demonstrate that either it was for office-based local services or that it was for uh, improving access for those people with disabilities. And they would be the only criteria that we would allow an extension. Here at the back, sorry. Um, I think it's very difficult to apply those criteria and certainly if you try and apply land use policy on the basis of a specific type of occupier in this way, I think how you actually make it work in practice is very difficult. In fact, we've found that it's almost impossible, so I'm not sure as a criterion it's actually very effective. And I think I'd go back to what I said earlier about looking at the fundamental merits and the underlying land use issues. Um, just again, to add quickly, one point that I think we've drawn out and people may not be aware, is the work that's been done by Drivers Jonas for the City Council last year, which showed that the, uh, the West End stock, as a gross amount, had reduced and reduced by more than any other European capital. And we need to therefore bear in mind underlying trends, and, and thus offices are an important part of the function, as well as being a means to other policy objectives. Um, can you just clarify which document, the DTZ document? Just it, it's, it was the Drivers Jonas report done for the City Council which looked at mixed-use policies and the conclusion of that report uh, was that th in particular the mixed-use policies needed to be looked at again. Okay, great, thank you. Um, Councillor. Would these restrictions apply to churches, mosques and synagogues? The, the, this would only relate to extensions to office Offices, so anything in B1. Um, so, no, it wouldn't. I, mean, I, I, I personally, in my view, is that um, we have areas of the city that are uh, should be exclusively residential as far as possible, and I don't think there is. I think we should be bold enough to say that in certain areas we wouldn't be looking at each um, case on its merits as um, you suggests. Um, we should just be bold enough to say that we welcome residential and uh, residential provision within certain areas, the outlying areas of the city. Um, and that should be reason in itself to, to have quite a strict kind of no further office policy, which is really what this is. Does anyone have any comments on that? Um, just to make you aware, I mean, the draft of the London plan as it currently stands is quite wishy-washy, if you like, but um, one of the policies that seems to be coming forward is that uh, offices should definitely be located in the town centres, and you've got a couple of town centres, like St John's Wood, which would be covered by that, and then you might end up with a conformity issue. So you would support the um, allowing extensions and allowing office use within town centres as an exception to the general office policy? outside of CARES. Yes, of course, okay. you might find yourself forced to by the London plan. Okay, thank you. Um. Hi, Liz Frimston from the Victoria Interchange Group, which is um, a, a group of uh, covering residents in the Victoria and South Westminster area. So I speak from that point of view. Um, I think that I would like to speak in support of Councillor Moss's last statement about there are areas of the... Westminster, which should be kept just for residential. And part of my thinking of, for that is not everything is covered by conservation area or other special categories which protects the residential amenity. 
and we haven't got all the policies that we need to resolve some of the issues that cause conflict between commerce and residential. For example, lighting regimes, very important. Um, for example, no smoking bans quite important, issues around deliveries, et cetera, et cetera. It's those small things which make the residential and commercial together quite an area of conflict. And we have to protect, as much as we possibly can, the residential amenity to make it feasible for people to continue to live in the city. Okay, thank you. <coughs>